Okay, let's take a look at a budget 3D camcorder. This is the DXG5F9V. This was a nice affordable option. I used it for a little bit some years ago. Very lightweight. It makes the interesting choice of uh, having a rotational lens. When the camera is off, the front of the camera tilts to the side and the lens are sideways flush so it uh, makes it a sort of a rectangle shape and then when you turn it on you rotate the lenses sideways it also has a nice big glasses free 3D screen it has a built in LED light on the front um, which is a nice thing to have it's obviously not going to light up a room but it's a nice fill light that gives a nice little enhancement, especially when uh, filming relatively up close or in darker situations, considering that they're pinhole lenses and you need all the help you can get with light. It also has a really nice comfortable controls besides the strap um, for your thumb. It has a rotational wheel to move to the different modes, as well as, interestingly, a joystick below that that you can move easily with your thumb up, down, left, right, and you touch the center of the joystick it clicks in to make your selections and then uh, besides those two wheels is the record button so it's really comfortable nice camera to operate the interaxial distance between lenses was also not too small not too large it was kind of an ideal width and the recording modes um, where you could get 1080p at 30 frames a second half width of course and here's the interesting part. You could also get 720p at 60 frames a second. And I'll tell you why this is interesting. Because uh, a lot of cameras do not give you that option. We're talking about high frame rate 3D. Granted, of course, it's 720p half width. So not the highest resolution. It basically looks standard definition. But you're getting high frame rate 60 frames a second. Didn't... Uh, the director of Gemini Man, didn't he call that 3D Plus? They tried to make a thing out of that high frame rate 3D. Unfortunately, it didn't take off. If you ask me, it looks better than 24p, and I wish uh, the public would kind of wake up about that. That's another story. Again, obviously, it's not the best image quality. It's uh, not pro by any means. But um, for, for home movies and uh, with decent lighting, if you stick to decent lighting, especially outdoors, it's decent. It's not, it's not terrible. And you can get some really good stuff. No image stabilization either. So that's something also to be mindful of. And the stills are, are better too. Definitely better than the Evo 3D. Way better. Iridescence, yeah.
I like drinking water.